After doing some uh, magical adjustments, I managed to uh, prop the uh, lawnmower up and uh, probably not a, in a non-recommendable way, but eh, works out. Work with what you got again, uh, as I always keep saying. I managed to uh, use a cheater bar, <laughs> not recommended, <laughs> and managed to uh, <clears throat> loosen it up. A little bit just enough to get what I needed so I can get the plug undone your plug is usually on the underside of most lawnmowers that doesn't matter uh, underline most Briggs and Stratton or any other types most lawnmowers usually have them on the underside here I've only ran across two that were um, not on the underside and I ended up having to take the entire lawnmower and tilting it upside down and draining it that way to get the oil out. That was... I don't remember what brand it was but it was a pain in the butt brand and uh, it did exist and I do remember it. It was... If I remember the brand, I will tell you, I just, my memory isn't the greatest as far as uh, small engines, years, makes, models, but I do remember certain ones and brands that come across me <laughs> go, I just enjoy working on them. It is usually recommended that you clean the underside and top side to before even cleaning this, but since I work with things that I don't have for cleaning extremely, sometimes your plug won't come with uh, an easy. Uh, type setup like this it could come uh, with just a normal bolt that you kind of see on the underside of a car that you're working with if you decide to do your own oil change in a car for example just for uh, just for example um, of course a car requires an oil filter um, We'll just let that sit there and drain for a while, or what's left of the oil anyways, and uh, I'll get back to you. Hello YouTube, I uh, forgot to mention a few things. Uh, the oil, um, as far as like uh, recommendation in most small engines go, um, most of them underline, most besides two stroke, um, usually will take something like uh, 30 weight oil and 30 weight meaning the, those that are kind of brand new that don't quite understand what it means. Uh, this is something that's a little bit better. It's not, not by company or meaning by how heavy it is. It's uh, by how well it puts up through the winter time. And if you're curious by that, then I would recommend doing something like a little experiment. Take something like, for example, if I want to take 10, 1040 weight oil or 3040 or straight 30, stick it in the freezer. See what happens. In fact, uh, I wouldn't be mindful of an experiment myself. I have a chest freezer, freezer and uh, maybe one of these times I'll run the experiment for you guys and see what, see what that does. Uh, take the different types of oils and practically uh, stick something like this inside of a chest freezer and show you what it actually does as far as the fuel flow uh, and how slowly it moves. I had my own uh, small engine mechanic do this for me and it was quite uh, a, a, a 
quite an exper experiment and very interesting as far as what uh, uh, what it means not by weight but by weatherization and the oils but uh, going off a little bit off track of this what I recommend as far as the small most small engines is usually 30 weight oil and pouring in most of them uh, very few or I should say more of the bigger ones like ATVs and the other companies uh, will recommend uh, different types of different brands of, of like say 1030 or 2 230 or something like that but you could you could pour straight 30 weight oil in them from what I had seen that as long as it's not a two-stroke um, my teacher had also stated that you could pour in something like uh, two-stroke oil inside the four-stroke gasoline and it wouldn't hurt it not 100% recommended but you could do it it wouldn't hurt the engine but if you did it vice versa, no oil inside of the gasoline of the two-stroke, yes, it would hurt it. So, 30-weight oil, I don't think it matters what brand, as long as if you're a picky person, then it does matter. But as far as me, I don't, I'm not really a picky person. I just choose the oil that's the most cheapest, and if it works, it works, because... The four stroke <laughs> to me is not a picky person and I'm not a picky person. So I hope you enjoy this little small briefing and if you wish to desire to uh, um, have that little experiment that I was talking about as far as the freezers go, please make the comments down below, subscribe, whatever, blah, 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 and I hope you enjoyed.